Hey, Norman with iSave Tractors, I have for you today this non-running Wheelhorse 3128 that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace for $150. It's a non-running tractor, but in this video, I'm going to take you along as I get it started and breathe new life into it. Here we go. So the first thing I did here, I did off camera. I installed a new 400 cold cranking amp battery. I replaced the black negative battery cable as well as the red uh, positive power cable. Now that those are in place, let's turn the key and see what happens. I got nothing, no solenoid click. Absolutely nothing. So let's uh, open the hood back up and figure out what's going on. As I was doing this, I noticed I had a built-up mouse nest underneath this piece of sheet metal here. So I'm going to take that off, quickly blow it out with compressed air, and continue on. Now, before I go too much further into this project and continue my diagnosis, I want to, at the very least, confirm that this engine will have a spark and it will run once I figure everything out. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to remove the spark plug, I'm going to add a little bit of a carb cleaner to the combustion chamber, and then I'm going to use a set of jumper cables and I'm going to skip the ignition switch and skip the solenoid and send power directly to the starter. Now since this is a magnum engine, it uses a solid state ignition system, so I do not need to send power to uh, the ignition coil. All I have to do is keep the key switch in the on position that will eliminate the ground for the coil and then all I have to do is turn the starter. Now if everything is good the engine will start up, it will burn off that carb cleaner and then it will die and that's what I'm looking for. If it does that then I'm gonna give myself the green light to figure out exactly what's wrong with this machine and get it running. Success. That's exactly what I was looking for. Now that I know it will start and run, let's figure out why the key switch wasn't uh, triggering that solenoid and go from there. So here I am using a digital multimeter to figure out exactly what's happening with this tractor. So I know when I turn the switch, the starter solenoid is not engaging. That tells me there are two components that are possibly getting in the way for this. It's either the solenoid itself or it's the key ignition switch. By using a digital multimeter, I can make an, the invisible force of electricity visible and I can detect it when it's there. So by hooking up my voltmeter to direct volts, plugging it into the terminal that activates a solenoid, and then turning the key to the start position, I should be reading a 12 volt power uh, and here I don't read 12 volt power so I know there's something up with the ignition switch a lot of times especially when you get tractors that have been sitting outside for a while those ignition key switches get a lot of rust and corrosion and sometimes it's just a matter of pulling it off cleaning off the contacts confirming with a continuity test with the multimeter and then reinstalling so let's do that Now, as you can see, my suspicions were correct. Some of these prongs were covered in heavy corrosion. So after I sand off all the corrosion, I'm going to use my multimeter set to continuity and just confirm all the contacts are making connections at the proper positions of the key.
So after I fixed the ignition key switch, I ran a test again, and I discovered that now I am indeed sending activation volts to the solenoid, but the solenoid still is not working. So now, through that verification, I'm going to replace the starter solenoid with a new iSave tractor solenoid, and hopefully that solves our problem. So the starter solenoid we'll be using today is from yours truly, the iSave Tractor brand starter solenoid. We have these made specifically for our company. They are fantastic. They have a one-year warranty. And the best part is you can install them by magic. Check that out. Pretty cool, huh? No, not really magic. So well, let's quickly recap what just happened. So I bought this $150 non-running tractor. By using a good troubleshooting mindset and a digital multimeter, I was able to narrow down the problem quickly and efficiently to the key switch and the starter solenoid. I corrected the key switch issue, which was just built up corrosion, and I replaced the solenoid. If I did everything correctly, this engine should fire up when I turn the key. If it does, that means I would have taken this tractor from non-running to running in less than 30 minutes. Check it out. Hey, there you have it. This tractor is now running. This project was a success. Of course, not every tractor project turns out this way, but you'd be surprised a lot of them do. These old garden tractors are definitely worth buying and keeping running. Hey, anytime you need engine parts, like for this Kohler Magnum 12, please look at isavetractors.com. We are the leading developers and aftermarket parts for all of these antique and vintage small engines like this Kohler engine, the old Briggs engines, the old Wisconsin, Tecumseh, Onan. We are covering them all. If you have any questions or if you have any thoughts, leave a comment below. Also, be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at isavetractors. My name is Norman. Thanks for watching.